She's bossing respectfully. <laughs> No? No, you can start it. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Uh, that's, that was kind of terrible. Let's do that again. Let's start. Let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Uncanceled Podcast. I'm here with my boy, um, Dubs. What's going on? And we're back. I told you we're going to be on a streak this time. No more fucking up. I told Let's you. go. <laughs> I'm excited to be back. Let's do this shit. This week, we got a good topic. Very close to heart. I'm excited. Yes, sir. I actually feel like a man because I installed this wall-mounted TV, and I did it by myself with not the right tools, but I got it done. <laughs> All that matters, man. It looks good. It's up. Yeah, so now we got three screens. I feel more professional. I could look what I'm doing instead of like having to shift through screens. So that's pretty sick. Yeah, that is definitely the best. I have just my two monitors. You know, I'm 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 behind. Peasant. I'm not as cool. Yeah, Fucking yeah. peasant. I'll, I'll get there one day. Don't worry, man. But it is weird because I look up and then like I feel like I look dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny it is funny but you know if you're cool you'll find a huge you know utility for it i'm sure oh yeah definitely and now now we got this whole setup where we can just look things up look at this oh shit man look, look, look sweet i know you yeah, can we see got it, google <laughs> we got the googles which is good for uh what we're going to talk about first which is i specifically want to talk about 2007 video games we're just gonna hop um, right into it yes sir <laughs> yes yeah. no, no dicking around there's no a lot of around. games on this list that i want to at least say a little bit about um the article i pulled up is just on imdb's uh, if you want to pull up imdb's list uh, uh imdb yeah it looks the best to me uh, that one that first one yeah okay because they, they have it sorted by popularity yeah so it's insane. Um, my favorite, game, personally, my favorite, uh, just game. You know, multiplayer game, role playing game, whatever. Just video game in general is Bioshock. Yes, I love that fucking game. It is so good. And if you've never played Bioshock, you know, I I recommend that game all the time. Um, you can get it anywhere now. Before it was an Xbox exclusive. Now you can get it. I think on the PlayStation. Um, you can get it on the Switch. You can get it on your on your PC. They're always going on sale. It's on sale right now on uh, Epic Games for like twelve bucks um, uh, for the full collection, so you can get all three games. Um, fantastic game! Oh god, it's so good. I know. The setting I know of for it a is... fact, like my little brother freaking loved these games too. He loved Bioshock, and uh, yeah. I just know that he always told me to get into it, and it was just always so hard for me to like get into story modes back when I was younger, just because I loved playing with like my friends and stuff. And I can never really play games alone. But like now that I'm older and I don't really got friends to play with anymore, I feel like I should revisit this stuff and like play like the series of games. Dude, yeah, maybe uh maybe stream it or something. That'd be really sick. I would uh, I would tune in and and watch it. I think it's only I know the first one's just a single player game. Um I I know the second pl- the second game has multiplayer mode, which I never actually played um when I was younger. And then uh the third one doesn't have anything like that. But you know, the first one uh, fuck to that like i said 2007 was just so good it, we also got um call of duty 4 it, it's number five on this list um and i put so much time dude, into pod four dude call of duty is literally <laughs> like the, the the number four is literally like the epitome or like the way that i started playing video games like back yeah. then call of duty 4 was the first first person shooter that i've ever played because i remember this so vividly bro just like like it was yesterday bro like i've never played any games just because like my parents never had the money for it and they just like didn't want me to spend my time inside playing i was always the kid that was playing sports and stuff yeah soccer and swimming yeah soccer swimming they always put me in sports and then they always thought like you know games were a waste of time or whatever but yeah 
uh, then there was that one day where I spent that spent the night at my uh, my teammate's house, and then he's like, "You want to play this?" And I was like, "I've never played this before." And then we enter our first game. Hear that fucking shit talking lobby. <laughs> Your heart is pumping. You're fucking uh, yeah. playing the game. Don't even know what's going on. But every yeah. time you die, you, you get fucking shit talk, and it was just oh, amazing. it's the best. Yeah, the. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, you know, Black Ops, all like those older Call of Duties were peak Call of Duty. You know, yeah, I still play Call of Duty all the time. Um, I still have a lot of fun, but I still, yeah, I could still think back and remember running home, literally running home from school oh, man. in like seventh grade, eighth grade, just to get on the Xbox so that I could try to rank up in prestige and to see like which one of my Call of Duty friends was online. Um, to get him, oh, man. Bro, the same. So man. After that, after that one day of playing that game, uh, everything changed. I like begged for games. I wanted this. I wanted uh, that. And then, um, I had the same thing. I just couldn't wait to get out of school and spend all damn day till three, four in the morning. <laughs> and then, you yeah. Gotta, then had to pretend to be asleep because my mom's waking <laughs> up for fucking work. And then I got to have it like I'm sleeping. Wait for her to leave and get right back on. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't have uh, my Xbox or any of the consoles like in my room because we had like the den game area that oh, we all. Okay. Yeah. I say all. It was like me and my sister. Um, but yeah, so I didn't play in my room, and so I would still stay up late. Uh, but I remember a couple times my mom scaring the crap out of me because uh, I was playing in the dark, and she would just come out of nowhere and, <laughs> and she would always startle me. Uh, and make me go to bed, yeah, like two, three in the morning, and, <laughs> and then well, going to school the next day, just talking about it with my friends. Well, like, like ah, before, ah, nice prestige. <laughs> before online gaming, like you know, I had the GameCube and the Nintendo and stuff, and that's where uh, like yeah. I would get more most of my games, or like most of my gaming was. That's where my start was Nintendo and GameCube, and like every time that we would go to the swap meet, I would buy like two or four dollar fucking Nintendo games and bring them home and play those. But like I would remember playing. This was like very specific. I don't know if you ever played Lego Star Wars. Yeah, I've <laughs> I've played it. I didn't like you know one hundred percent it or anything. Well, yeah, like GameCube, Lego Star Wars, and <laughs> like speaking about like you know going to bed and shit. Me and my little brother, that was the first time that we played it. We bought it. We were super excited. And my mom was like, go to bed. And we like snuck out of our rooms because the GameCube was outside in the living room. And we're like playing. Yeah. And we're fucking laughing, bro. We're like hella laughing. We're being loud without even knowing. And then you just hear that little creak of the door. And then you're just like, uh, oh, no. <laughs> and then all from the shadow, dude. Literally from from the shadow. You don't even see it, right? Just a fucking chonkla, bro. A little Not the chonkla, bro. Bro, like a say. freaking ninja, and it goes right in between my eyes. I'm just like, ah, dude. <laughs> Your mom's and, pretty and cool. And you, dude, you, you think I'm lying, but my mom would tell you exactly what I just told you, bro. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Yeah, and parents don't get it. Uh, my dad's cool. You know, he he plays video games. Um, he doesn't play as many games as he used to, but uh, yeah, it's, it's mom's. Yeah, she she doesn't get it. She used to get uh. She used to get so mad. Yeah, I mean, she gets it now because like, um, the, yeah, the way that cool. the way that uh, I showed her like the way of me streaming and the way I was making money here and there, and I was like, yeah. getting a following, and she's like, "Wow, keep doing it. It looks like it's working for you." And she kind of like like fell into it. She was like, "Oh, I understand. I understand That's what awesome. you're doing." Yeah, my mom's cool now, but yeah, I, I just remember back in the day, her taking like the controllers. Uh, you know, hiding them or taking the power cord or whatever. Or I got like a bag. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> got like a bag of raid or something. I'm like, what the fuck? It was like Why? The Why? With, the same thing with the computer back then. Like, she would take the keyboard. So, uh, like, no. on the password, right? I would use the mouse and I would like, like, right click and copy the words on the like. So for some reason, you were able to like to copy the words, and I was just like one by one on the password, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny just so i could use the mouse jack's goal uh, yeah good times man yeah 2007 just looking back at this list um we skipped right over the first one i sadly did not have a playstation or my sister had a playstation 2 but she did not let me like play it and i guess i was more into like the xbox stuff i didn't play uncharted and i know that that's like a playstation exclusive i'm not sure if you're uh 
big Uncharted guy. I yeah, I played, a movie now. I played um, Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 just because of my older brother. My older brother uh, really loved those games, and he had the PlayStation. So whenever I slept over his house, we would, like, spend all night freaking achievement hunting and shit like that. Oh, I love achievement hunting. I've been doing that in Bioshock right now. It's, it's super fun. Um, and then Mass Effect, I played that a lot with my dad. Uh, Team Fortress 2. Oh, man, Halo 3. You played Halo 3, right? Yeah. I think everyone Of course, played dude. Halo everybody 3. played Halo. The, the second I got an Xbox, every, <clears throat> that's where, like, Halo was yeah. superior, bro. The story mode was freaking golden. Your oh. heart's racing in the story mode. Yeah. They had literally playing, one of the uh, best story modes I've ever played. Fantastic. Bro, you haven't played Bioshock, man. Well, I guess you yeah, need I'm... to play Bioshock. <laughs> yeah, it's. Fuck. Bioshock's so good. And I've been going back. Um, and playing it again right now and watching videos of people um, going into depth on stuff and like 100% speed running it in like an hour and a half. And I'm like, what? Because I remember playing it as a kid. It took me like, you know, three months to beat that game. Um, it's a scary game. They have it rated 9.1. I keep going back to Bioshock. I just love that game. <laughs> um, uh, a little bit more down the list. They got God of War 2. Let me go back. I didn't play God of War 2. Or I didn't play God of War because I didn't have a PlayStation. Oh my um, god, dude. God of War was freaking great as well. Like Those were the those were the, the mature games my older brother always had. Because, you know, my parents, yeah. once it said M, my parents were like, nope, not for you. So then yeah, I would go uh, to my brother's house <laughs> and I'd play God of War. See them tennis in the bed. <laughs> There's like a I, scene where you, like, you go in bed with like this like whore or whatever and you know you do your thing <laughs> you see some titties and you're just uh, like Ooh, she's yeah. a lady <laughs> uh, that's funny man uh yeah no i've watched tons of videos about god of war like the newer ones uh i love all that the gods and stuff all that is super interesting i love their take on it so cool um i like seeing all that right now with thor i know we're about to see a bunch of those guys in, in thor right that's greek yeah, um, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's great Creed game. was such a great game. Such a good game. I've been wanting to go back and play that first one. I have a few of them um, on the Switch. Uh, I got whatever ones were like super cheap in like a collection. I think it's like Black Flag and like Rogue Nation or something. Yeah. Um, I think I have the third one. But yeah, Assassin's Creed one. Yeah, I've only played one and it. two, and then after that, I didn't really get back into Assassin's Creed. But it's, it was Man. such a great... It's like just breaking boundaries of all the parkour was just fucking crazy. Like, so game cool. So, it was like so fluid at the time, too. You're just like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I, such a good game. <laughs> just looking at that little video that's playing right there. Such a unique concept. All of these games that we've talked about, we're only eight games in. So unique. <laughs> like, these people back in the day... It's like all the games nowadays are all like, Kind not all of them. I don't want to say all of them. It's just you know it's more of the same like that like with movies and stuff where it's just sequels that we no one wanted. Um, just they're just making more of the same game over and over again because that's what people are buying. Um, and then the unique games, you know, people don't play them, so then we don't get the second one. Man, two thousand seven, shit. <laughs> Such um, a great time for video games. I oh, there goes Lego Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> <laughs> bro, wait, no, but Spider Man 3, dude? I, did you ever play Spider Man? Yeah, bro. Dude, it's that so too, good. that game was also like groundbreaking for me. And I played that on the GameCube. I didn't play it on the Xbox. I played Spider Man 3 yeah. on the GameCube. And even Man then, Hunt. it was freaking great. Yeah, I never I never heard of Manhunt. Yeah, it's the second one. I have no idea what that is. The Witcher. Oh, wow. The that Witcher, has a I show never now. played. Me neither. That is a whole TV show with uh, Superman. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. My girlfriend really loves that show, too. Yeah, he's a... Uh, all the girls like that guy. Portal. Like, man. It's crazy. Some of these are so far down, and they're so iconic. Like, my sister has a I tattoo didn't even, right that, It's here. just crazy that, like, this game came out in 2007 as well. It just... Yeah. My and sister has a tattoo on her of that game. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, right here. It says uh, Aperture Laboratories. She's cool. <laughs> She's not cool. Um, some of these I've never like heard of. Heavenly Sword, um, Kane and Lynch, Stranglehold. The, the Simpsons, Simpsons, dude. That came out in 2007? 
You know what's the best Simpsons game? What? Can I reach it? Dude, this I came out in 2007? It. No way. Yeah, I have it right here. Hold on. Hit and run. That's what that's the one I was thinking about. I, I thought that's what it was. I was like, it came out in 2007. That don't make it. I, I don't think that's right. But yeah, this was 2003. Yeah, hit and run is one of the best fucking GameCube games ever. Did you know this was a sequel to Simpsons Road Rage? So Road Rage, is. yeah. No, so I remember playing Road Rage because I watched a video about it. And so Road Rage was they based Road Rage exactly off Crazy Taxi. And then Hit and Run was based off Grand Theft Auto. Um, so Crazy Taxi was more like mission-based. So it was like you had to go from mission to mission to mission. Yeah. Well, this is Road Rage. It kind of seems similar to... Yeah, it looks Hit exactly like Crazy Taxi. Game, yeah, no, it looks the same. TV. What is That's this? A trailer? Record. Oh, it's like the actual gameplay. Yeah, this is what. Did you ever play Crazy Taxi? Kid, you know oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. Un yeah. I do remember that. Okay. I kind of remember. One, it. I feel like that was more like an arcade game. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really play that one. I probably did. Yeah, I just played it in an arcade. But then that one, I remember playing it at um, Jalen, the kid who lived up the street from me. Mm. Um, he had a, a PlayStation One or a PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation One, and he had Crazy Taxi on it. I think he had The Simpsons on it. Um, he had a couple other games that oh, yeah. I remember hit, going over. Hit and, and run. I remember getting at the Swap Meet, and then when I took it home and I played it for the first time, I immediately fell in love, and I hundred percent the game, like achievements and all, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got that game from my sister when I went out to Colorado the last time. She gave me her GameCube and that game. And I've yet and to play it. And then all the cheat codes, freaking left, right, left, right, up, down, A, B, A, B. <laughs> God, I love video games, man. Um, Simpsons game, man. What was that one, though? Because it's not the ones we're talking about. Yeah, but... I don't know. Let's see. We can Ooh, it looks up. a little better. They got Futurama in there. I don't know what? Uh... I already am like, what? I don't. Let's see. B3 trailer. Shit. 2007. Man. They don't have E3. E3's like dead now because of COVID. Stupid COVID. If you gotta get in the game, you gotta get with the family. Homer, Marge, Lisa, and Bart. Don't you understand, son? You're all right. But Looks fun. This fall, roll with your homies. Yeah, I didn't play that one. Dude, I never played this one. I before. was playing Call of Duty and Bioshock. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I've never. I don't Halo remember 3. this game at all. Yeah, look at all these other all. games. It blows my mind that these dude. Like, if you look down Super right Mario below Galaxy. that, Super. Yeah, what, what the fuck? That came I out in two thousand seven. Like, that is like further back in my brain, like two thousand four or some shit. I just like. I, I, I just. I guess. I think you know, like GameCube. You would think that it's super old. You know. Bro, click on the darkness. Holy fuck! Did you play that game? The darkness. No, it doesn't look familiar to me. This, again, back with the unique concepts. This game was so fucking cool. I remember my sister liked this game, and she played it, and I remember playing it. So right there, it says, on his 21st birthday, Mavia hitman Jackie Estacado is possessed by an ancient demonic force called the darkness. This further complicates his relationships with his mafia family, a corrupt police department, and his, ch and his childhood love. Bruh. <laughs> this game was so weird. So you have guns and shit like a normal game, double guns, but then you also have these fucking like demon arms that you can control with like left bumper and right bumper, and then you shoot with like right trigger. Um, bruh, that's another <laughs> game. Add to the add to the stream that game, bro. Stream you know, that we gotta, game. Let's just stream 2007 fucking games because, bro, the darkness was so good and they made a sequel to it um the, the darkness, darkness too yeah i, I did when i googled it it showed up fuck yeah. it was good crisis uh spider-man the kingdom hearts damn they made another spider-man what kingdom bro hearts ratatouille <laughs> like, <laughs> you I played gotta, ratatouille i gotta go bro ghost rider 
Um, they made another Spider-Man game in between in 2007. They just were fucking shooting out Spider-Man games. We're done, bro. Go to number 39. This list is all wrong. Crash of the Titans. I never played Crash of the Titans. I'm a fake Crash fan, dude. I got the Crash tattoo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, yo, I never even heard it. it. <laughs> Add it to the li- bro. Thirty nine, bro. B movie game, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Five. What even is this? Eight. The bro, end. You can listen to this. Must play. I'm going out. Out. Out where? <laughs> this is just the trailer for the movie. Whoa. Division and DreamWorks Animation present What the fuck? Oh, there you go. Oh. This is actually a good movie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched the B movie? Do you know what this game reminds me of? Like, now that like I'm looking at it, it just reminds me of fucking ants. Oh, the I game? just watched that with... Bro, I just showed my kids ants the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, and my, they both but were just... But did you ever play ants on the Nintendo? Like the one based off the movie? Yeah, the game based on the movie. Not, it was literally not. a whole story mode of fucking of ants. No, I did not. I oh, suck. that thing was um, great, bro. Yeah, I uh, I love ants. That movie's awesome. I prefer Bugs Life, but uh, I also love ants. You know, there's a funny story between those two. Wait, am um, I saying it wrong? Is it Bugs Life? I might mean I might mean Bugs Life. Oh my god, bro. I'm That's fucking. It. Yeah, Bugs Life. I'm so sorry. Dude. Bugs Life on Nintendo, bro. <laughs> yeah, like bro. The... I, I'm thinking ants because, you know, the main character is a fucking ant, dude. <laughs> like on the Game Boy or on what? No, it was on Nintendo. Look, I have Bugs Life on the Game Boy. Look, this one right here. Check it out. If it shows. Oh, not shopping. Uh, I have that on the Game Boy. I don't have it on the. I have all my Nintendo 64 games right here. I can't yeah, reach them all. Dude, you don't remember games this? Games based on movie licenses are usually panned by critics. And this is often for good reason. Smash. Oh my they god! Nothing more than games rushed through the yes. You don't remember so this, dude? Yes, bro! Oh my god! The music! <laughs> Did oh you drop back a fucking god. memory? <laughs> Bruh, Bugs Life. Holy fuck. Okay, so... We talking about older games, not 2007. Like before, it was like multiplayer. Uh, before it was like next gen games, I guess. Because like back in the day, that was next gen Xbox 360. Well, so when it was like up on Nintendo games, bruh, uh, Mario 64. I put so many hours into, and I never got all 120 stars. And now I watch videos of guys getting all 120 stars like on lunch break. I'm like, what the fuck? This is insane. <laughs> Here you go. I'll go do the IMBD or INDB, whatever it's called. Double like your, seven. Uh, of course. I have that. Yo, don't make don't make me pull out my Nintendo games. <laughs> dude, have, 1080 have, snowboarding, dude. Did you ever play this? Uh I remember no. playing this at my cousin's house just That's number two? Wow. Which one? No, just they have it as number two on this list. Oh. Yeah, dude, because it was such a nostalgic game, bro. <laughs> this is like literally one of the like the few games where you could play multiplayer, and it was like super fun. Uh, did you play SSX? Tricky. SSX. It was on Xbox. Is that Xbox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they were like Xbox. suit. They they would do tricks, and it would be like super flashy. The music was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on the original Xbox, also around that time was Jet Set Radio Future. That game was great. It was like there a was rollerblading a, there game. There was another snowboarding game that was really good on the Nintendo, and I'm trying to remember. I think it was just called Snowboarding, bro. Uh, there was another cool snowboarding game on the <sighs> Xbox. It was uh, Red Summit. That was a good game. Uh, snowboarding games. Yeah, dude. It was snowboarding maybe kids. This one right here. Yes, yeah, Snowboarding Kids, dude. This game was freaking awesome. I had that on the Nintendo. Dude, me and my cousins would spend hours on this game just riding down a stupid hill trying to get first place. <laughs> Bro, I think um what was a good game that I spent a lot of time playing. We played a lot of Halo 2. Um like all of us cuz it was me, my sister Zach, and his sister. Um 
We've played a lot of Halo 2, Gauntlet um, on like the original Xbox. Bro, I don't know if you ever played speaking Gauntlet. about Halo, do you remember Halo Evolution? <laughs> yes, in at like school? at school. <laughs> at school, yeah. Bro, fucking computer dude, lab, bro. That was the funniest <laughs> shit ever. We never got no <laughs> work done. We teachers didn't... coming, teachers coming, bro. <laughs> Bro, that shit was so great. God it was the worst thing you didn't know how to do it. It was like, bro, tell me. They're like, nah, bro, don't tell them. Like, Please. Dude, that shit was awesome. Uh, I freaking love yeah. that. Yeah, PC games before, like, now I play PC games. It's funny because, like, I technically, that's where I started gaming was on the, on the computer. Because um, I remember vividly the first, like, games... Uh, the game, yeah, I guess games, plural, that me and my sister and dad played together was on the computer, and it was uh, Earthworm Jim. I don't know if you played Earthworm Jim. Uh-uh. Uh, Wait, mm, group, maybe. Look it up, bro. Look it up. Earth, uh, look, Earth, like, OG Earthworm Jim. Like, I don't even, yeah, it was on, just on the PC. Jim? Uh, yeah. yeah, Earthworm Jim, yeah. Okay, and my Joe's. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, just yeah, looking I, at him. Just like a stroke back a memory that I forgot I had. <laughs> yeah, bro. That shit Holy was Holy shit, dude. Yes, that game was actually really good. I remember playing hours and hours of that with my sister and my dad on the computer. Um, and we also played Carnivore. Um, look up Carnivore. Please. Like PC game. Like 2000 fucking one or some shit. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, bro! I do not remember this game. What year did that come out? Click on like, like go to it. Like Let's go to not year. in images. Like go to like Let's out of all, sorry. yeah. Nineteen ninety-eight, <laughs> bro. Ah, oh, that makes me want to cry, bro. Like, like three up, years old, <laughs> bro. Look up gameplay of that shit. Dog, this game was insane. I remember playing with... I have this vivid memory of me and my sister... <laughs> oh, to fucking cry. Playing that game. And we were fucking sitting in my dad's office. When we lived in Pahrump. This was in Pahrump. So this was like 2000, 2001, bro. Fucking 1999 or some shit, <laughs> bro. Um, and we were, <laughs> we were playing. And it's like... It's like a first-person game, and you're like looking through the forest, and like when you start, you pick like what dinosaurs you want to hunt and what guns you start with. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I remember we, uh, <laughs> I think we, I forget, but you're always scared of the Tyrannosaurus Rex because you know it's the fucking T Rex. Yeah. Um, and I remember this one time we were playing, and. Um, <laughs> and we were looking for him, and my sister was fucking playing. Yeah. Uh, no, and keep just... talk, keep talk. I'm just gonna have it on mute so you could like talk while it plays. <laughs> oh god, bro. Yes. <laughs> and just how it is. And I remember we were in like this, how this guy's looking, and <laughs> and we like turned around because we heard some shit, because it was just speakers, and the fucking T Rex was right behind <laughs> us, and me and my sister jumped so fucking high. It was, oh, bro, terrifying. Like, I jumped from right here to, bro, like 20 feet. It was insane. We got so scared. I remember we ran out of the room. Um, this game's so fun. Man, I need to download this. I'm going to need to, like, write this. What is this on? I'm going to look it up. Like, car, carnivore PC game. Bro, I got to get this game. <laughs> so you bro, I got to replay it. Oh, bro, it was so fun. Forward it to where he's like, because you, well, some of them you have to hit him in certain spots. I think this one was like, oh, yes, bro, yes, go back to when the thing comes and takes him away, and then like it takes it to a fucking museum, kind of like in uh, Animal Crossing, and you can go and look at it in the museum, the exact one that you killed, you know, so you could have like five hundred of the of them if you just killed all of them. Bro, does that insane. say twelve point eighty seven tons? Yeah, big bro. motherfucker, dude. And Jeez. this fucking helicopter thing is just got him. Tons, just using bro. like a magnet or what the? <laughs> My man's just twenty four thousand pounds. Jesus Christ! 
just a, just an easy twenty five thousand pounds. I got that. <laughs> I wonder if he shows it going back to where it like stows it. Please. Oh, he says. It says gameplay. Area. Like it says exit area right here. Look at it. Okay, Preparing so, evacuation. Oh, bro, we uh, we let's play this game, bro. We. Oh my <laughs> god, bro! There you go. Oh yes, dude! Uh, I almost have a tear in my eye. <laughs> the terrible fucking graphics. Oh, my. back then it was fucking awesome, though. You're like, holy shit, it's so real, <laughs> bro. Forward it to like see if he. Yes, look, the fucking. <laughs> oh. Um... Me? Oh, there goes the sound. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that. I feel no, like bro. I feel I... like today we're gonna be hitting a lot of like fucking triggered memories. <laughs> I'm about to cry, bro. And then I remember that that's the fucking T Rex calling, and I remember you'd hear that, and he the other ones would run away from you because it's like they're dinosaurs and they see a gun. The T Rex would fucking it to to you and you would not want him to come to you but then you would pull up the map like that guy did and you would see the red dot fucking getting closer to you oh my dude <laughs> terrifying terrifying 1998 jesus christ oh but yes carnivore so fucking good i remember playing that man that's probably the oldest no because i remember i also had like mario on the game boy you know so i remember playing uh super mario land um did you play that one mm -mm. did you have a game boy i did but i never really had any games for it i only had oh Pokemon. yeah come on super mario land if you look that one up that was probably a lot of people's like other than pokemon you know pokemon's like everyone's like super mario land like game boy og game boy um yeah that one yeah so good i actually i never beat it as a kid but i have it on my game on, on a game boy now um and i beat it a few times and you could beat it in like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Really? Um, and it, yeah, and it's crazy because I remember as a kid, like, oh my God, this game's so hard. <laughs> you know, now I'm like, I could beat this game in, yeah, how long is this? What is this, long play? Oh, uh, my God. But I have it in color. I have like the, this looks like shit, not in color. But yeah, forward it to like the later levels. Of course, right, you cool it, right? Yeah, bro. Like, there was such cool levels, like Egyptian and like, like just weird ass. Like, what the heck? Such a good game. I played the shit out of this. Yeah, I have this on the Game Boy now. I have a couple Game Boys um, and uh, like a emulator Game Boy that I have a few ROMs on that I play. Um, the Switch is the best. For ROMs. Way to ROMs. Yeah, from the Switch? No, on my like little Game Boy. I wish oh. everything wasn't so far away. I would go over and grab it. I guess you could edit it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to grab it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't edit it. Just fucking leave it dead air. A bunch of stuff on top of them. Okay. What was I doing? Showing us your... Your my collection. Game Boys? <laughs> so my kids play with these now. But uh, this is a, a 101. So these are like the more, the one that more people want because this is the one that has like the backlit screen and stuff. Yeah. Um, the other one doesn't have that, I guess. Um, I got a bunch of these I got with the intent to like fix or like mod or whatever and sell. Just a uh, Game Boy Advance, another Game Boy Advance. Uh, two game like OG Game Boys. Jeez. These ones are yeah. Um, a 2DS. I really this one's like messed up. I really want to get this one working because I think because I didn't play like DS games, but if I were to play two uh, DS games, I think I'd want to play it like in this like form factor. Um, like I don't know. I feel like this is more. I don't know. Oh. Like the DS is cool. Um, I think that before the Switch, I was like you know they're highest selling console or some shit um but i don't know there's something about the way that this feels um maybe because my hands are big um a pocket uh game boy color game boy color 
game boy color jesus you have so many oh uh, yeah uh this one this one's a mod i got this from this guy on offer up um i was buying a, a different one from him and he was like i have this one if you want it um he like i don't know if he got it from someone else or if he just made it i think like this is a thing and then this like lens was from something else it's like this isn't like an official like thing um green one um game boy pocket this one's cool but i didn't even yeah. know there was this many versions of the game boy <laughs> yeah bro the thing like me oh jesus and then this you is gotta the... scoot it over more to your to your left or i guess i don't know which way you're facing well more towards you because you cut off a little bit yeah go more to your your your, your t-shirt <laughs> there you go <laughs> <laughs> um no, but this is the one I was talking about. So this is an Odroid Go. I don't know if it's going to be on a game. It is on a game. That's funny. So, uh, all of the games on here, I have hard copies of. So that's <laughs> why that's why they're on here. They're saved, you know? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saved them onto my PC, and then I got the ROMs from there and put them on here. <laughs> Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, so I got like Nintendo games on here, uh, Game Boy you games. You play Nintendo games on there? Yeah, bro. Let's see what I got on here. Tons. Uh, I don't know if you can even fucking see it. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, you're cut off on here. You got to go in the middle. There you go. Yeah. Dang. But yeah, so these are boys. Ones yeah, so these are ones that I like, that I have, that I put on here myself. Uh, so they didn't, like, come with these. So, I, yeah. So these are all mine. And then, uh, let me go back. And then I have Game Boy. And then Game Boy Color. And then there's some that, like, that you can have on here, but I don't, like, have. Sega, Game Gear, ColecoVision. Yeah. So this thing's super fucking cool. Um... I, I got this because you like have to make it yourself and I thought that that would be super cool because it, it comes all in like pieces and stuff oh. and I, I thought I would feel like super uh, techy if, if I got to do this. Do yeah, because it's not like no no soldering or anything. And, uh, everything comes, it's just you plug it in, um, you know, you got to get your own SD card to put your the ROMs from your computer from your hard copies of from games hard that copies. you have. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like a couple of the hard copies I got right here. Uh, I'm, a lot of these are like garbage. Tetris, Space Invaders, Mario, Pac-Man. Oh, here we go. We were just talking about this. There you go, Bug Life. My favorite, or I have it in a little case. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, bro. So good. Man, if I knew I was going to be doing this, I would have... Uh, <laughs> Brought out everything? Not everything, but I would, my Nintendo game, my 64 games are right there. I would have just pulled those out, too. Because I got, like, Mario 64 and Mario Kart and uh, Pokemon Stadium. I pulled that out right now. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie. Um, oh, my God. Those were such good games. Oh, bro, I love Banjo. Through, dog. Come through, dog. I got them. <laughs> I got my Nintendo set up um, on my TV over here. You know, my I play Nintendo's with my kids sometimes. Right there. I mean, you can see it's like right there. Yeah. Yeah, I got a GameCube. I got a 64. Don't sniff I got into the, the mic. He's sniffing in the mic. <laughs> I can't hear anything. And then I have um, uh, that one that came out, like the classic the little one that has all the ROMs on it. You know what I mean? Like the Super Nintendo. Yeah. The little minis. Yeah, I got the Super Nintendo. No. Yeah, the Super Nintendo one. So the first one's just Nintendo NES. I got the SNES. Um, You're more of a gamer than I am, that's for sure. It's cool now that like my kids are like John David, especially. Um, he's really into. I know he just wants to play on my tablet because he likes watching uh, videos and stuff. But he does like playing games and stuff on my Switch. I say tablet. But he calls my Switch tablet. But he'll he'll play games like I had him playing uh, that SpongeBob Bikini at a Water game, yeah. which I played when I was younger. That's probably like 2009, 2010 game. Um, 
Uh, uh, what else do I get? A couple other games, not too many, um, but it's cool. It, it's really cool. I'm excited to. I was playing Bioshock, actually, <laughs> and they were sitting there watching me play it. Um, yeah, I think, which is funny. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do that now that I got like this right here. It's gonna be so much better to play games on this TV just to like. You know, playing on here, I'm like, I'm always, I get tired. But I could, you know, I could lean back, plug in a controller. And just... Oh, yeah. What kind of, is it 4K? No, it's just a regular TV. It's fine. It's a regular. Dog walker, bro. It's expensive, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Monitors are expensive. Uh, no, I'm joking. Maybe, bro. maybe I'll get uh, off like a 40-inch like 4K monitor TV and switch this one out. Yeah, bro. Get a projector, dude. A projector. I, you know what's funny is that I was thinking about doing that in my in my bedroom. Instead of getting a big TV, I was just gonna get like a hundred inch monitor, and then like hang it on the wall, and then put the projector right against the back of my wall. Just Do you have a big like blank wall in your room, or? I don't like the way that my room is set up. Is literally the master or the the bed is literally in the middle, and then the door is in front. It's just kind of weird, and then the blank wall is on the right. So what uh, I was thinking of doing was just like you know hanging a projector, and then when I close the door, because nobody else is here, so I could just pull down the projector, and no one's gonna freaking open the door at night. Booga booga. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking about doing. But I don't, I don't know. I mean, the amount of setup that I would have to do would be the same amount just getting a seventy-inch TV. <laughs> yeah, I picked up a projector actually. Um, on I saw it on TikTok. It was one of those ones you see where it's like oh get a projector yeah. i was like fuck, fuck it um i knew it wasn't gonna be like good quality i really got it for my kids um so i can like make like a movie theater upstairs done it i think i did it like twice now where i'll have it to where it's like projecting and they have popcorn and stuff so but then we go to the movies all the time too which is super fun i just went and watched uh, bob's burgers with them uh oh is that the, the new movie that came out bob's burgers yeah. Is that good? It's not, well, yeah, it's pretty good. I watched it twice now. I watched it with uh, Madeline. We went and watched it like the day it came out, and then I wish like, that I wish I had like the uh, like the drive to watch a movie twice. Like once I watch, it, I'm just kind of like over it. That's probably like the reason why I like I don't like buying DVDs because I'm just like moving on. I know I already seen it. Don't want to see it again. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I watched Top Gun twice also. Uh, I just had to. So I watched it with my dad on Tuesday, last Tuesday. And then I was just like, holy fuck, that was good. <laughs> um, and then talking to Madeline, she you know didn't, doesn't want to watch it. So I was like, okay, I need to go and watch this again at some point. And uh, I have a gift card that... I had the gift card. I bought something. I bought a fucking coffee table with it, and it was broken by Amazon, so oh. I never got it. But they they never refunded the money to the gift card um, until they got the until like Amazon got the table back from the the fucking shipper, and then you know what I mean all this shit. So yeah. it took like three months, four months to get the money back. So like Jesus. I, you know, yeah, so I like just got that shit back. Um, yeah. So what are you gonna buy for it now? With the money? Uh, oh, I actually bought. Uh, why did I start talking about that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> just went on a tangent. No, I had a reason that I started talking about it. Um, <laughs> I actually bought uh, Bioshock on the on Epic Games because it's on sale. Oh, and then, with the gift card. Then, yeah, yeah, because it's like a. a yeah. Oh, that's why I started talking about it. Because I was like, oh, uh, I have this gift card that just got all its money back. I'm going to go splurge, uh, splurge and watch this shit in fucking uh, like IMAX. Because <laughs> I usually go to Sam's Town and it's $5 all day long. Uh, I'm a cheap motherfucker. I'm not going to go spend nine to, or, you know, 19 $20. That's like IMAX. when I went to watch it, with, IMAX is like, you know, it's a huge screen. With the you know blow your fucking head off with the audio super loud, oh, okay. um, you know now there's a bunch of different like competitors with IMAX like Dol Dolby Cinema, uh, like 
D box. There's some that actually move. Like me and Malin went to watch uh, Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, and... 3D movies or 4D or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was about to say. We went to watch uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire in 4DX, which was like when you go to Circus Circus at the Adventure Dome and you go on the SpongeBob ride. And po- you know, dude, and, like... I do. I remember when I did that the freaking SpongeBob ride and it poked a sh- hit out of my back, bro. It hurt so <laughs> bad. Dude, the thing just, it felt like it punched my fucking spinal cord, bro. I, was like, I thought I was fucking paralyzed for a second, dude. I remember that shit, dude. It was terrible. <laughs> dude, I know what you're talking about because it's like they have that too at the 40X theaters. And so it's like, I've seen Harry Potter so many times. So it's like, I was anticipating <laughs> the moments in the movie that they would utilize that feature. So I was like, <laughs> and then they also added to where it would spray like shit in your face, <laughs> dude. But yeah, so imagine being on that SpongeBob ride, but you're watching Harry Potter. It was awesome. Yeah, uh, anybody, have... anybody in Vegas that like you know has ever been to the Adventure Dome and did that 4D ride of SpongeBob knows exactly what I'm talking about. You literally yeah. come back. You come out with a sore back because you just got freaking spinal tapped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one in the Happy Feet ride. Good, good shit. Um, but yeah, they have a bunch of different ones. Uh, the Maya Cinema. I don't know if you've been there. That shit's I've over off. Uh, no, yeah, they have their theater. own. They have their own like version of fancy theater that's wall to wall. Like when they say wall to wall, that shit is wall to wall, ceiling to ceiling. Like I went to when I watched Top Gun. I went to uh galaxy theater and i haven't been to galaxy theater since i watched it's funny i actually remember i went to watch x-men 3 dude uh, that's kind of crazy to think about because i feel like that was exactly the same movie that i watched that fucking there. yeah i remember watching x-men 3 at galaxy because i remember walking out after seeing that post credit scene where that lady's like talking to professor xavier like <laughs> in his like in the new dude's body and I was, I was like, holy fuck. Bro, I feel like I have a photo. Fo- oh, no, you have to sign it on whatever. I was going to say, I have to feel like I have a photo of me there, like, taking a picture with, like, the poster and shit with, like, me and my friend. Bro. <laughs> Man. Yeah. But I haven't been there in forever. So I went. Um, that shit was humongous. Floor to floor, ceiling to ceiling is no joke. It was so loud. Um, I got there. I'm, like, an expert at going to the movies because I know exactly – how long the trailers are and when to get there um because i know it, it's 20 minutes it's exactly 20 minutes every time so you know so if your show time's 1 30 your movie's gonna start at 1 50 um so every time the the credits roll it's 20 minutes n- what do you mean or just that specific location you know that no, because I went to Galaxy and it was 20 minutes because oh, okay. I remember I got the the show time was at 4 40 and I remember I was standing in line. And it was like, you know, four fifty-five or some shit, and like I was walking in the theater, and it was like this opening of Tom Cruise, like thanking us for being at the movie. You know, so it was like exactly five o'clock. It's because it's you know, so twenty minutes. And every time yeah. I go to Sandstown, it's twenty minutes because me, you know, we'll sit in the car and you know prepare to watch the movie. <laughs> That's you how know. you know you go to the movies a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, all, it's 20 minutes. You gotta yeah, prepare. Like, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so as we'll sit there for 20 minutes. Um, it's cool to know because I remember back when I was younger, we'd get there before the fucking trailers. And it's like the movie's not even on yet. Sitting there for an hour before, it's insane. Um, I, that's. I feel like that's like the only thing. I, I, you know, it's so. That's like one thing about me is I hate being late. To anything i don't know what it is about me but like if like i'm already like all right we're about to be five minutes late if we don't leave now like hurry up like my girlfriend hates it because i'm like rushing her and she's doing her makeup i'm like come on let's go we're gonna be late and then when we get there like say it's a party or something we're like the first ones there and we're sitting there like okay we could have waited like 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> we could have been late fuck yeah. my bad no yeah, i feel that's you how i always though. am yeah, I feel you on that. <laughs> yeah. I just, I guess, i just been in the movies so many times. We have a, where is it? Ugh. Yeah, I think you showed me this before, like a whole thing of like movies. Yeah. Yeah. These are all movie tickets. This is uh, Buzz Burgers. Yeah. But yeah, I need to put those in the box. We got to make this, we got to bring this full circle. 
<laughs> bring it back around. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. Back uh, to video 2007? Game. <laughs> yes. Uh, no. Um, I'm not even on the page anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we went what are we looking at again? Oh, yeah, Nintendo, six, Nintendo games. <laughs> we went on a whole tangent, dude. <laughs> I think we're talking about movies. Okay, but yeah, go to the cinema, people. I'm looking at all you people who haven't been to the movies because uh, COVID and you're scared. Um, you can look at theaters, and now you know you can get there and, you know, 20 minutes after the showtime. And you could check the seats all the way up until 20 minutes after. As soon as that 20 minutes hits, they take the show time down but you can check the seats you know and all of the movie theaters now are all reserved seating so like even if you don't sit in your exact seat when you're out there in the lobby picking your spot you have to pick it um and then everyone in the app you have to pick your seat so it's like you'll always know how many people are about to be in the movie you know so if you're if you're watching a, <laughs> if you're watching uh want to go watch something you can check, because you know, I know my dad was like that. He's like, oh, bro, I don't want to go to a theater and have there be a million people. Fuck, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, we watched Top Gun. We were elbow to elbow with some old motherfuckers, you know. It was insane. And then when I watched <laughs> it a week and a half later, it was I was still elbow to elbow with people. It was, you know, that movie is going to make so much money. Good for them. Well, yeah, because it was such. It, that's such a nostalgic movie, you know. Like so much hype on one, it. I, I don't even. So, like, what would you give your rating from? Like, compare from the first one and this one. I haven't seen the first one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are such a movie connoisseur, and not even doing your research on the first one before watching the new one. What? I I have it right there. <laughs> I don't want to pull it out, but it's right there. Um, what? Yeah. And then even watching it the second time, I had like a week in between. I still didn't watch it. i just been working, man. I don't know. And then just... I just know how good that movie is. People always talk about it. It's just one of those movies that I just have never watched. Um, but I definitely need to now because, yeah, Top Gun 2... Uh, my dad said it's better than the original. A lot of people have said it's better than the original. Well, I mean, better um, quality. No, like everything. Um, I give it, bro, like a nine, bro. No more, bro, ten. No, <laughs> nine and a half. Nine and a half. If they, because I don't want to sound like that guy, but if they got rid of, there's like a sex scene. They don't show the sex, but there's like a scene where he like goes in bed with a girl, and then it shows him them like laying in bed after. Is it like? Like, like, uh, like a remake, or is it? No, like bro, it's so good. Future. So it picks up. No, yeah, it's uh, like you know, thirty years later. Oh, it's, okay. Tom Cruise is just still Captain Fucking Maverick, and uh, he's like testing planes. Uh, he does some at the opening of the movie. He does some tests that he gets in trouble for. Uh, he gets saved, and he has to go and train a bunch of like the top pilots in the top gun like thing um on a mission well because um, like, like in the end of the movie like i don't want to be there's not really that much of a spoiler but like after he does everything he does like they tell him what he wants to do and he says that he wants to be a trainer at the top gun and they're like top gun and then that's how the movie ends <laughs> yeah no he uh he ends up he talks about it he's like oh, i did it for like two months but uh, they fired me um but yeah <laughs> yeah he ends up doing it uh it's good. I don't want to spoil anything. It's really yeah. good. Um, all of the people that they bring in, the one thing I've seen about it that I tell people is that it's unwoke, which is amazing for a movie right now because, you know, a lot of movies right now, I guess the only way to really, ex like, describe it is woke and, like, unwoke is that if the movie's going to comment on what's going on with, like, culture, pop culture in the world, you know, like, if, are we going to have a, a transgender character? Are we going to have a character with you know a disability um are they gonna turn a character that you know we know from like the source material is one thing are they gonna change it to something else to like draw a crowd to that you know what i mean like oh let's make this character a different race to bring in this oh, okay. um, like this type of viewer that. um so just like a super unbiased like yeah 
Just yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're just, they just made the, the movie. Movie about the past. Yeah, because there's a, a scene in it. Yeah, because there's a scene in it that is like a. Like they're honoring the original. Like in the original, there's a beach volleyball scene. And yeah, in this one, I they're playing that. beach. Yeah, in this one, they're playing beach football. Um, and so even watching our interviews about it, they talked about there's two sh- edits of it. One of them is where they're not oiled up and the second one where they're oiled up and <laughs> in the movie you know they use the one where they're oiled up yeah they're all, they're all just playing football tackling each other they're all fucking oiled up and they're all dancing and like <laughs> flexing and shit um and just watching it i'm sure there's people out there that are like oh what the fuck this is uh i don't want to see this i'm watching it you know oh, blah, blah, blah. you know but yeah, that's how like, it was back then too <laughs> yeah but you know watching it it's just just enjoy the movie it's cool like Nostalgia. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's really good. The music's fucking great. They open it with like the same one from the original. Um, Tom Cruise gives it his fucking all. Um, Miles Teller is great. The one who played uh, Goose's son, uh, Rooster. Oh, they named him Rooster. I didn't yeah, know it's oh, funny. Yeah. yeah, his name's uh, Bra- Bradley Bradshaw. Hmm. Um, he has a mustache. Just like his daddy. Like me. <laughs> yeah, no, really good movie. Go to the movies and watch that shit. Make sure you watch it in the cinema. Get it. Watch it in the movies because it's fucking... Uh, the jets and everything because they're really in jets and stuff and it's fucking made for the movie theater. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm you know, I'm glad to be back again. What is this, three now? Let's fucking go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We in here. Episode three with just us, but episode eight eight i believe that's where we're at right now episode eight about to hit the double digits and two more the fucking saltine challenge remember that shit (laughs) the saltine cinnamon challenge (laughs) dude our last one did a lot our last podcast did a lot better than our last one before that episode six i don't know if it's because of the whole you know shooting thing but it did better and i got a couple comments on like my Instagram and stuff saying that they actually really enjoyed our podcast and they that we seem like naturals. Dang, <laughs> like we're real friends. <laughs> like we've but, done this before, but not online. <laughs> yeah, I've never talked to you before. I'm, I'm glad to end off. 2007 was a fucking killer for video games. Um, I mean, that like, list. If, didn't even if, scratch the surface. Yeah, if if you guys enjoyed it and you guys want us to talk about other topics or like look up things and kind of just bring back more memories, that'd be awesome too. You know, we all, I like looking back in the decades and see what I used to play and like kind of remember everything and like everything kind of like flashing back in my head like it was yesterday, which was kind of cool to do today because I haven't talked about this stuff in so freaking long. Yeah, seeing you uh, remember who Earthworm Jim was was cool. Yeah, dude. Like when I saw him, I was like, "Holy shit, dude! I forgot yeah. about that guy." <laughs> yeah, that was a super cool game. Um, ah, man, streaming has always been one of those things that I've like said I wanted to do, and like I've made video game content. Obviously, um, I'm Dubs. I've made video game content, but it's just like, man, I'm so like not consistent with it. And I got Bioshock on the computer with the intent to stream to, it. to yeah either stream it or make some sort of content on it you know like uh yeah probably i don't know um i just love that game but then talking about all these games i'm like man it's got a whole list Carn- that you want to do yeah carnivore 1998 bro like that game's fucking incredible <laughs> like yeah. if we look that game up on twitch Nobody playing. Who's that. streaming that? <laughs> <laughs> but who's, but then who's gonna look that up? Like it's just, that's the other thing too, you know. <laughs> this guy right here, bro. I'm always looking for the Carnivore 19. That you know what's funny is that like when I first started streaming to like get an audience, I put an emulator on my computer and I went straight like all these Nintendo games and I gained like two to three hundred followers within like the first like two weeks dude and like people followed me after that and they just like my personality and i kind of just grew like that and then got like a thousand twitch followers and within like the year yeah you're pretty cool <sighs> i was <laughs> we'll get back man we'll yeah i need back, to start dude. 
Because, like, but right yeah. now with all, like, the workout schedule, I mean, like, I get home around freaking 8 or 9, and then we start doing this, or, like, I'll go and eat, and it's already too late to do it. But, like, I'm going to start slowing down again, and it's going to, we're going to go back. We're going to get back, and we're going to start streaming, making more content, yes. making people laugh, making people cry, doing all the things again, man, because I just, I miss it. Yeah. I miss it completely. Maybe if we do it together, like how we're doing the podcast. Kind of just you know, push each other. have each other. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's cause... my biggest thing is, like, I have terrible – I talked about in the first episode we did. Terrible, like, motivation. Like, yeah, that, I'm the same way, dude. Like, um, once, uh, you know, once uh, Grizz, and, uh, Grizz and Josh stopped playing, it kind of pushed me away because they would be the ones, like, you getting on today? I'm like, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> You know, but like, and now I don't have that. And then when they disappeared, I, you know, I tried to keep the train rolling because their followers, you know, kind of funneled into me because we always played together. And yeah. the, the the constant question was like, where's, where's Grizz? Where's Josh? You know, and then it got to the point where it was like, where's Mac? <laughs> yeah. Because then I started yeah. getting away too. Because we played games and, you know, that was always fun. Like that football game and, um. You know, just Call of Duty in the past. Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Halo. I mean, there's so many games. Um, just, yeah, looking back at that 2007 list, you know, there's 795 entries on that fucking list. So it's like... Jesus, 700 games 2007. just in 2007? Oh, my God. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I'm sure some are garbage, but, you know, there's an endless amount of things that we can do. Um, and I don't want to have that, like... Oh, uh, how many views do we got? How many views? Oh, like, I've followers? never been that way either, you know? I mean, yeah, I, towards the I end, have. I kind of was where it was like, I yeah. didn't do so good today, and I need to do better tomorrow. But, like, in the beginning, it was more like, oh, this was great. We need to make more this videos fun, like yeah. this. Or this is, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, I just want to play those games and share what's fucking people. Because, yeah, Bioshock's such a fun game, man. And I can't, you can only recommend that game enough. Um, gotta just show people at one point you know at some point like hey you check it's on epic. Game out. yeah right now bro 12 dollars. i think i think it ends on the 16th of june um it's all three games or if you want to just try out the first game first i think it's five dollars but then at that point it's like might as well just get, might the as well get the, yeah, yeah, yeah i think i'll do that just i'll probably get played this weekend since i have <sighs> you know bro, it's so alone. good like <laughs> it, it downloaded i don't know if it's just me but it downloaded really fast um bro play like the opening like maybe i'll stream it maybe i just turn bro, on the stream and just like play it you know first bro, time bro, play the first yeah dude play the first like 30 minutes of bioshock one bro and you're gonna you'll end that stream like and you'll text me like dog this is great yeah like <laughs> Why, like, what why haven't fuck? I played sooner? Yeah, What's you'll text your brother, me? like, <laughs> I fucked Daniel. up. <laughs> Damn, yeah, Daniel. bro. It's so good. Yeah, I'm about to, I'll play it tomorrow. But yeah, but yeah, we went on another fucking tangent there. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to end it there. This is another installment to the uncancelled podcast this was a great one i feel like we this was like one of those things where it was just like flowing and it was just fun and we were laughing and having a good time and i hope you guys had a good time too you know let's just do the next one about uh, video games too <laughs> yeah well maybe we'll have like a little you know writing down of what we could talk about what games we liked i don't know keep the flow going but yeah like i said guys like comment share Think, tell us what you thought about this episode or maybe, you know, if you want us to talk about something that we didn't get to talk about here, we can mention it in the next one. And, you know, we can bring up comments and show you guys in here. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is EC Mac, and you can follow me anywhere, everywhere, Easy Mac. And this is dubs i'm, I'm dubs uh you can follow me on youtube at i'm dubs <laughs> i haven't posted anything on it in a long time um on tiktok uh that's probably where i'm most active uh look up good movies i'll get it figured out good movies daily doing. and the, hey, your, daily. Your, your outro was better this time you always go on a little tangent every time that you go yeah. i'm dubs uh, i'm gonna make more videos yeah <laughs> when i was born <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, guys. You guys have a good morning, day, evening, or night. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye. Bye, everyone. All right. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say, but I didn't want to, like, go on another tangent. Fuck. Um. <laughs>